Hey, it's Rayanne. Welcome to the August 2018 Sephora Playbox unboxing. What this is, is a $10 subscription box with five items that could include uh, makeup, most likely, skincare, hair care, fragrance, what have you, whatever Sephora is carrying. Sometimes tools, which is neat. I've gotten a bunch of little mini beauty blenders before. It is $10. It also comes with a collectible bag. You also get a um, play pass that you can get 50 bonus points to add to your beauty, your VIB insider account to redeem, you know, they have those free things you can get in the front after you hit so many points, which is super cool. Um, they also have web links that can take you to tutorials, a little more information about the product, how to apply, how often to use, maybe if it's skincare and you're not quite sure. So lots of really good resources in the box. I have it right here and we'll open it. I pre-cut it just so I don't struggle with it, but there we go. And that thing flipped up. There we go. So looks like it's all school based. That's pretty cute. I'll leave this till we get everything out. And there's the collectible bag. Very, very, very cute very happy with this the last one was kind of like a basic one which was not disappointing but i was like oh that's it let's crack right into it so the first thing feels like shampoo and conditioner and it is it is a mika the velveteen dream shampoo and conditioner we do carry this line in the salon i work in and it's fantastic it's amazing don't even bother like just go out and buy the the big sizes because this stuff is so good it smells so good it has such good ingredients in it it's incredible and i already know it's incredible so this is just awesome so very cool item one next item here is the laneige focus not going to focus anyways it's a water sleeping mask that's awesome these are a little you know more heavy duty than a typical moisturizer lots of benefits with sleeping masks i love sleeping masks i love sleeping packs they're just super great i feel like it might not last very long just because i kind of can't control myself around these little sample size guys but this is very, very awesome, and I'm very excited to try this. I have a feeling like I'm probably not going to be able to afford the large size of this, so maybe I should be a little more conservative with how much I use to test it out, but, you know, it's hard to stop when you're excited about something. So next product we have, I don't know if I need this, but it looks like it's a lip plumper. I don't think I've ever heard of this brand, Gra Grand Lips, Grande Lips. I feel like this looks like it's going to hurt, because that's what lip plumpers do. Crack this baby open. It says it has long-term benefits. Can't read it. This light's not the best. That is a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be, I, you know, for such a large box. That's fine. I mean, the component feels nice. It is glass and metal. It's in clear, so I'm not sure if you're meant to put this on before or after you put lipstick on. I'm assuming before. It does have hyaluronic acid, which is amazing. So if just for that, this is definitely worth it. And I feel like, you, you know, you will get a decent amount of use out of that. So just enough. I guess to get a good feel for it. NARS. What kind of NARS do we have? Looks like eyeshadow based. I've never actually tried this. So I'm actually looking forward to that. I've been using the same eyeshadow base for a very long time. The NYX white one. Oh, this one is also looks like it's white. Cool. Whenever they say creaseless, I'm always kind of, mm, that feels really nice, but it feels like a face primer nice. Like, I don't know how well shadow's going to stick to that. 
but you know buffs away nicely on my very pale hand so we'll see I always kind of wonder when they say creaseless because I have you know little hooded eyes that always crease so I'm very skeptical of anything that makes those claims maybe on like people with larger eyes with more eyelid space they wouldn't have creasing but who knows time will tell and this is a Moroccan oil this is the dry texture spray I've also used this line quite a bit I am very fond of it it is very 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 pricey even in the stores that only uh, stylists and licensed cosmetologists can go in it's still really pricey but it is very much worth it you get all the benefits from the original Moroccan oil I'm assuming in here with just a little you know that that grip that'll give you the texture so I'm excited for that I don't tend to do very well with texture sprays my hair is really really long and just the texture of my natural hair is pretty angry is the best way to describe it it's kind of rough and just doesn't want to play nice so texture sprays can be a nightmare and for anyone that has similar hair texture you, you need to be wary and be ready to wash things out or put some shine spray on to kind of control the craziness so here's our last item the Ciate glow to highlighter that box is very cute like if nothing you got me with the box what color is this all I see is not for sale so let's open it oh it's so cute it has a little bowl on the top I like the little containers for travel as well didn't think it was going to be like this however didn't think it was just gonna be you know hanging out in a very breakable plastic does it say the color on here? Moon dust. Cute. There's the highlighter. I'm gonna try really hard to open this and not break it, but that's just, that's so scary. It feels nice. Oh, that's pretty. I'll be interested to see how that wears. I don't think that's a bad, you know, shade for my skin tone at least. Now it's the, oh, you can kind of see it. So just my whole hand shiny. It's a good look for everyone. So those are the five items that came in. And of course, got my 50 extra play points right there. My play pass, I should say. And then opening it up, all the little tips and tidbits that they like to throw on there. I think it's super cute that it looks like someone, you know, it's all notes that someone took. Very cute. And then there's the information about all the items in the box themselves. Uh, and then, you know, how you would use it if you're not really familiar with eyeshadow primer. It does give you some good info there. And then about the highlighter. I'm very glad that they put in a little blurb about the texture spray because a lot of people might think of it more like a hairspray and not quite know what they're in for and you know if you're looking for volume this is something you really want to put at your roots not really at the ends and I think that will knock out a lot of confusion which is awesome and then the full ride for the lips what does this say over clean dry lips and layer products over top of it or you could do it w alone for a no makeup look, just probably pain. That's, that's, they use spicy things in that kind of lip product, but cool. Looks like you can use the sleeping mask nightly, which is nice. Oh no, no, look, once or twice a week. They don't want you to overdo it, so that's not like a nightly thing, that's a couple days a nightly thing. And the Amika, of course, which, like, it's amazing. Everyone should try Amika. I love Amika. Please use Amika. They have a really nice dry texture spray that actually works really well with my hair that I'm very happy about. They also have another product. I really want to see that in a play box called The Wizard, which you put it on damp hair before you style, and it's one of those 
products that you hear about that will literally do everything, but it like actually does literally do everything. It's amazing. I love it. So everyone should check out Amika. I know that they've had Amika in at least two other play boxes. So I'm really glad that they're getting some exposure. People are starting to learn a little bit more. I guess the stuff that I'm most excited to try would be the eyeshadow primer, probably. Obviously the skincare, because I love skincare, and the highlighter. I am a bit disappointed with just how the highlighter is packaged, because it seems with a lot of the samples that we get in the play boxes, they'll just be like little mini versions of what it actually is, not like an actual, it looks like a tester from the store. And I can't take this anywhere for fear that it's going to get smashed. The formula is really nice and soft and creamy. So I'd be really scared that it would just, you know, explode in my makeup bag and make a mess and I'd never get to enjoy it. So a little sad about that, but that's okay. Um, depending on how I feel about the lip product, I may give it to a good friend of mine who's always on the hunt for a good lip plumper. She really, really likes when they really, really hurt. And girl, you know who you are, and I love you. But that that's about it. I mean, other than the, you know, sharing my love for Amika, um, I think that, I mean, I'm pretty satisfied with this month's play box. Did you guys get anything different in yours? Have you gotten yours yet? I noticed when I got the email, hey, your play box is on the way. Click on this link and you can track it. And then I clicked on it and it was like, no, we don't know where it is yet. And I was like, oh, okay, cool get my hopes up but I'm glad I, I did get it when I did I'm looking forward to hearing you know did you get way different stuff in your box did you get about the same have you gotten any duplicates yet because I've noticed going through my one little basket full of all the samples that I have a bunch of things that are repeated not that I mind because I really do enjoy the products that got repeated but has anyone else come you know across that uh, have you tried full-size versions of these products? What did you think? Would you repurchase them again? Thoughts? Let me know. If you would like to, please do subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. Hit the bell for all notifications of my uploads. Like the video if you did like it. Again, leave me a comment with your thoughts below. Maybe something you'd like to see in a play box. Um, you can also follow me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews and Twitter at Reanimator and uh, enjoy your play box and I will probably catch up with this topic in a follow-up video like I did the last time. I had a really good time with that. I really like to see how these things work out so keep an eye out for that and have a good day everyone.